Hi there, my name is Adam Corcoran, I'm the Technical Sales Engineer for Esri Ireland and over the next five minutes I'm going to be walking you through how you can configure ArcGIS Quick Capture from scratch. But before we get into that I'd just like to take a moment here to point out where the online documentation is for Quick Capture. Here I'll find all the resources related to Quick Capture, there's tutorials, frequently asked questions and even a link out to the Quick Capture designer. But before I can create a new project, I'm going to do a little work in ArcGIS Online and configure my feature layer that I want to use in Quick Capture. So to do this, I'm going to hop into ArcGIS Online. I'm going to navigate to my content, hit create, and I'm going to create a feature layer. Now for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to choose points, lines, and polygons. You could equally just choose points or lines, or alternatively, you can publish your feature class from ArcGIS Pro for example. Now once I'm there I'm just going to add some field names so I want to collect uh, debris type in this case I want to collect information about road condition in my polyline and so I'm just going to record it as an incident area. Next what I'm going to do is navigate back to my point feature layer and I'm going to create a list. So this is a drop down menu of all the information I want to collect when I'm in the app. So I'm going to go out and do a road survey and I want to collect data relating to say litter, traffic lights, road signs, road works, you know, and maybe even then when there's vegetation as well. Once I've created my list, I'm going to click save. And I'm going to do the same for polyline as well. So for this one, I want to capture road condition. So I want to say whether it's good, fair, or poor. And I'm going to leave the polygon as default. I'm not going to create a list for that. Now, if I click on my visualization tab, I can see that by default, they're symbolized by location only. But what I want to do is now symbolized by the list that I've just created. So I'm going in here and I'm selecting uh, the new field that I've just created. And once that's done, I'm going to click Save Layer. Now I'm going to go into my Quick Capture Designer and create a new project. So I'm going to select the feature layer I just created. And because I'm a GIS nerd, I'm going to give it an icon as well. So this is what my quick capture project is going to look like for my field worker. You can see it's divided into groups and I can specify how many columns each group can have. I'm going to now give each group a more meaningful name uh, and I'm going to change the outline color to black. Yeah, I'm going to do this for all groups. I'm going to call my line layer road condition and apply the same color as I did before. Uh, and then I'm finally going to do the same for the polygon layer as well. I can also change the label of each button if I want to. But what I really like about Quick Capture is that I can upload icons and images to my buttons. I can also change the color of each button and the associated text. Uh, holding down the shift key as well while clicking a button will select multiple at the same time. I can then make changes to all selected buttons at once. So I'm kind of ashamed to admit that I spent more time deciding which icons to use in this tutorial uh, than I'm probably going to end up configuring Quick Capture. Um, which probably goes to show just how user friendly Quick Capture is, um, not only in the capturing data on the field, but it's also pretty easy to configure. So I can rearrange buttons as well by dragging and dropping them. Um, I can visualize what my Quick Capture project will look like on a phone or tablet. Um, and I can also resize my buttons based on what device I'm hoping to use for it. Uh, once I'm happy, I'm going to click Save, which means my project is now available on, my, on the Quick Capture mobile app. It's also worth noting that I have extra options in the Data tab here. I can choose if I want my end user to take a photo when a particular button is clicked. I also have options around capturing extra fields here. 
For this exercise, I'm going to configure only three of my six points of interest to capture photos. So that's my quick capture project. I'm going to show you what the mobile app looks like now. And so I'm going to open it up. I'm using an iPhone. It's available on Android as well. I'll sign in and download my Road Debris project. And from there, I'm just going to start capturing data. When I click on any one of these buttons, it starts recording location. And anytime I click on one of these buttons, it'll take a photo. So that's it from me. I hope you've enjoyed this quick tutorial. And I wish you all the best with quick capture. If you have any questions, you can email me below at the email on screen.